Hello everybody and welcome back to another GTA 5 LS Beetle Fire tutorial. Today we're going to teach you how to install Grammar Police. What Grammar Police is, is Dispatch Inside Single Player so you guys can talk to Dispatch. Just to bring that realism into the game. I know a lot of you guys ask me, what do you use to talk to Dispatch? This is what I use, guys. And we are going to go ahead and show you guys how to install it. So let's give a big shout out to all you subscribers, all you sponsors, all you moderators. You guys are absolutely amazing. Big shout out to all you that are new to the channel. Definitely consider hitting that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and smash that like button. I'm gonna help you install Grammar Police. So Grammar Police just came out with one major update, which is absolutely amazing. Big shout out to the two two creators. So um, we are gonna go ahead and get in here. And what you guys want to do? So we are gonna go ahead and get started. What we are gonna do is we are gonna go ahead and download this file. So we're gonna click download this file right here, and we're gonna click agree and download. We're gonna go to the very top. We're gonna click download right there. And we are going to go ahead and install Grammar Police. And while we are getting that download, I'm going to go ahead and open it. It shouldn't take too long. Perfect. It just opened up right away. Um, so we got Grammar Police right there. What I'm going to do is we need to go to our GTA 5 main directory. So you could go to Steam, go to Steam Library, go to Grand Theft Auto 5, right click on it, hit Manage, Browse Local Files. And that's how you pull up your GTA 5 main directory. So inside here, we're just going to leave this up like this. And we are going to go ahead and pull the download up of Grammar Police. Go inside Grammar Police right here. We're going to have two folders. We're going to start off with textures. So we're going to go inside textures. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up OpenIV. If you guys do not have OpenIV, I highly recommend you guys getting OpenIV. There are tutorials to show you how to install OpenIV. Um, so go ahead and get OpenIV. And we are going to go ahead and open OpenIV up. And we will go ahead and get that open. And what we're going to do is make sure you guys hit edit mode up here at the top. And we are going to go ahead and we're going to go right here into this download for Grammar Police. We're going to go to README. We're going to click on README right here. And the best thing is when you go to README, you can just follow the paths that go through there and just do it by yourself if you really want to. Um, I'm just here to talk to you about it and walk you through it. So you guys are going to go in here and inside here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to open iv and we're going to just follow this path that it gives us so inside this path it says we need to go to mods x64c.rpf file if you guys do not have an x64c.rpf file all you guys got to do is just scroll down and your open iv just keeps going down and you will find x64 down here we found the x64c.rpf let's go ahead and make sure that matches up perfect so that's exactly what we want we want x64c.rpf i'm going to double click into it and again make sure guys edit mode is on all right and it's going to pop up this red bar right here i'm going to go ahead and enlarge this for you guys it's going to pop up this red bar right here go ahead and either copy to mods folder or show in mods folder whatever it says right here mine says show in mods folder so i'm going to go ahead and click on that and now we are inside our mods folder if you guys do not have a mods folder what you guys need to do is go to your grand theft auto 5 Okay, Grand Theft Auto 5, main directory, right click in here, click new folder, and name it all lowercase letters M-O-D-S, just like mine right there. Okay, and again, you can right click over here to the side. You guys can go ahead and click new folder, and go ahead and name it all lowercase letters M-O-D-S, so you get a mods folder. And again, we'll walk you guys through that one more time. So what we are looking for, what it says in the readme, is we are looking for x64c.rpf. So let's go and scroll down and we're going to find it right here. X64C.RPF. I'm going to click into it and again, show it in mods folder, just like that. And we are going to go to, so we're going to go ahead and pour a new pad up just like that. And it says next one is levels. So let's go to levels just like so. And of course it's going to be GTA five. Let's see what the next one is. GTA five. It says props. Let's go to props. And then the next one is this right here. So we're going to go right there. Perfecto. And we're going to go vminigame.rpf. So it'll be right here. Perfect. Okay. So we have all that in there. This is what we're going to do. Okay. So you have two files in here. You're going to take these two files right here. You're going to drag and drop in here. And again, make sure edit mode is on. But we're going to drag and drop into here just like so. Perfecto. You guys are good with that. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to do is go back to your GTA 5 main directory. 
Okay, so we're going to go back to the GTA 5 main directory. And I keep this, I just have this big open section over here. Um, what you guys are going to do is you guys are going to go ahead and pull up Grammar Police Download. We're going to go back, go to this folder right here with the two dots. We're going to click on that. We're going to go to our Grand Theft Auto 5. You're going to take these four files right here. Okay, these four files right here. You're going to drag and drop over here to the side. Do not ho hover over anything because if you hover, hover over any of these folders, it's going to go inside the folder. So just go over here to your side. Go ahead and drag and drop over there just like so. And it's uh, moving 902 items into our Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. Okay. I'm going to replace the files due to the fact that I already have this installed, um, which is perfectly fine. I'm just going to replace it for you guys so we can walk you guys through it. And we are going to go ahead and... Let that load up 100% complete. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to go and hop into our plugins folder. So you see my plugins folder right here. And this is what I'll do. You can see my plugins folder right here. We're going to go inside my plugins folder and inside the plugins folder. We're going to have an LSP to far folder. I'm going to go inside that LSP to far folder. Go ahead and switch this up for you guys just a little bit just to move some stuff around just so you guys can see what I'm working with. Um, so again, grant the photo five main directory. We're going to go into the plugins folder and go ahead and move this a little bit. Sorry. I just got my new monitor. So a little bit of stuff is, uh, moved around a little bit here. We'll take size back over just a little bit, just so I can have a little, uh, area over here again. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to a plugins folder inside our GTA 5 main directory. We're going to go to the LSPDFR folder. And inside here, you're going to have a grammar police folder. Go inside the grammar police folder and you're going to have... So you have two uh, two files right here. If you're just reinstalling uh, grammar police, you're going to have a custom folder. And if you just have the default folder, that's perfectly fine. Our file right here. What we're going to do is delete the custom. We're going to go ahead and delete that. We're going to go ahead and copy this one. Let's go ahead and copy this one. Click down here on the bottom. We're going to go ahead and click paste. We're going to go ahead and rename that custom. Just like so. Rename that custom. We're going to go inside there. And what you guys want to do is you want to go from right here and go up. And you're going to click delete. So general is up at the top. Okay. It says do not edit anything in here. And you are perfectly fine. What you guys want to do is go in here. And I'm going to go ahead and change my call sign up. So I'm going to put three right here. We're going to do all. So I'm going to do Charlie. Zero six, which will be my car call sign. Um, and we're going to put that in there and you guys can go through here. So your dispatch key is going to be right all on your keyboard. So if you look at your keyboard right now and look at the space bar right to the right of your space bar is a L T it's, it's the right all. And that is going to be your how you talk to dispatch. If you guys want to use something else, that's perfectly fine. You guys can go ahead and delete this right here. And you could put it on whenever you want. Say you want it to be O, you could switch it over to O. Or say you want it to be 2, whatever you want it to be, that's perfectly fine. You guys can do that. Um, you could switch it over that. Just make sure that it doesn't mess up what you guys hit because you, you don't want to turn it on j because if you use j and you use the ls and it's going to turn your lights on every time you talk to dispatch so obviously you don't want to do that but i'm going to keep mine our menu because i really don't use right alt for anything so it's a perfect spot for it um you guys can scroll through here and if we come down here um you can keep uh, initiate pursuit on false always keep that on false uh, you could go ahead and scroll down here and they have a new hotkeys that you guys can check out. And that is going to be right here. So you have new hotkeys. So in here, you guys could change these up and you could decide what you want to do. So you could do traffic control key. So say you want to traffic control real quick. You guys could change the key up and slow traffic down by just changing the key up and making it any key that you want that you don't use. Or you can uh, do stop traffic. You could change that up by deleting none and put it on anything that you don't use. Um, and this just prevents you from um, having to pull up the menu to be able to stop traffic. So you guys could change that and everything. And uh, I would just have to find me a good button that I don't use, a good key that I don't use to be able to use this stuff. Um, you also got your traffic stop key and all that good stuff. Um but for the most part, everything is good right here. What we're going to do is we're going to go and hop inside the game. 
So I'm going to go and click file. I'm going to click save just like so. I'm going to click X and we are going to go and hop inside the game. And we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to use Grammar Police. So let's go ahead and hop inside the game. What I'm going to do is go Grand Theft Auto 5. I'm going to go and scroll down. We're going to hit Rage Plug and Hook. I'm going to jump over to the game real fast so you guys don't have to wait for me loading up. And we'll be right back. So now that we are inside GTA 5, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to work Grammar Police. So what you guys want to do is go ahead and hit Control F2. Okay, if you hit left control F2 on your keyboard, you're going to have this grammar police menu that pops up for you. Okay, so what you guys want to do is you guys can go to display settings. And inside display settings, you guys can go through here and decide what you guys want to do. So show player status right here. If you guys look in the left hand corner of my screen down at the bottom over by the mini map, you're going to see I have a street name there. That's called player location display. That is another plugin. I have a tutorial if you guys want to check that out. But above it, just watch above it. Okay, I'm going to show player status. I'm going to turn it to yes. And right above it, you're going to see it says status out of service. Okay, you could either turn that on or turn it off. It's up to you. You can also do show target plate. So basically, if I'm going to go pull someone over, it's going to show me the plate number of the vehicle that I'm pulling over, which really does help out if you're running over to dispatch because sometimes you cannot see the plate. Uh, so that definitely helps out. If you guys want to change the location, of where your status out of service is, you guys can go ahead and go through here. Position X will make it go left and right. So just like this, and you can just hit left, you can hit right. Text position Y will make it go up and down. So you, going left on your keyboard will make it go up. Going right on your keyboard will make it go down on your little arrow keys. And uh, you also have text scale. So you can make it bigger if you want. You can make it smaller if you want. The choice is yours. Um, so that is going to be for show player status and also show target plate. You got show notifications. So it'll give you notice notifications. If you guys do not want notifications, you could just turn that off. So you don't get notified about anything. Um, so nothing pops up on your screen. So go to PTT settings and inside here, guys, you guys can do hold the talk. I highly recommend doing hold the talk. And the reason why I recommend doing hold the talk is because it will allow you to basically say what you need to say to dispatch before dispatch cuts you off and just says copy that. So you can hold your, your right alt down. And like I said, to the right of your space bar is right alt. And that's the one that you're going to use unless you change it to another key. Okay. Like I showed you when we were installing it. But I use right alt and that's the default button. And it's to the right of your space bar. So if you look at your right space bar, you have a button right next to it that says ALT. That'll be right alt. Okay. So hold the talk, you can hold that down and then you'll be able to talk to dispatch and let go of it and then dispatch will understand what you're saying. Okay, show in car animation. If I go inside my vehicle and I hit the right all button. Okay, if I hold it down just like this, you're gonna see my guy is talking to the radio right there. And then I'm gonna go and let go of it. Perfect. And dispatch is gonna go ahead and reply back to me. So if we go to push sounds, so you do have push sounds so push sound right here is when you actually hit you to talk in your radio you're going to hear these sounds i always use number two but i'll go over the sounds with you guys so we got number one number two all right so there's eight push sound and then you got i believe six release sound so basically push sound is when you press your radio to talk to dispatch release sound is when you let go of your button when you're done talking to dispatch so release sound will go through them and there you go so i'm going to go with number two and this is my choice you guys can do whatever you want whatever you feel you like i'm going to do number two and i'm going to do number four them are my two favorite so preface response. So basically this is how dispatch responds back to you and what they sound like. So let me go ahead and show you guys this. So number one. This is dispatch. You got number two. Go ahead. Number three. three six. And there you go. I go with number two. This is dispatch. Because I think she sounds so good. Um, but we are going to go ahead and back out right here. Um, so you're going to go into this one. And you're going to have these settings right here. So attempt to initiate pursuit. I keep that on no. It is up to you if you want it. I do not like that. Pursuit action will attempt to initiate pursuit. Basically what it's saying is um, 
I, I like initiating pursuit by just pressing the letter B on my keyboard and it just makes it that much easier. Um, enable jail waypoint. Um, so basically when you have someone arrested, it will send a waypoint and put a waypoint onto your map. I know where all the jails are, so I don't need that. And uh, that's up to you if you guys do want that. Enable traffic stop. So basically dispatch will prompt you for details on your traffic stop. So basically if I get on a traffic stop, dispatch is gonna ask me certain stuff about my traffic stop, which makes it really re realistic. Um, obviously you wanna give them your the plate and the details of the traffic stop, but I think it's realistic, so I keep it on yes. Handle availability, um, automatically change your call out availability based on your status. So basically if your status is you're available, but you're on a call or on a traffic stop, it will change that for you. Um, and you could turn that on yes or no. Handle death, basically um, it clears call outs, pursuits, and player status upon player's death. So if you're in a shootout and you get shot, basically what it will do is clear all that stuff so nothing crashes on you because obviously you don't want no plugins crashing on you and crashing your LSPFR. So I keep that on yes, just in case I do get, you know, knocked down in the line of duty because uh, you know how it is on my patrols. I'm always in shootouts. Um, officer check interview. Um, so basically how often dispatcher will check in with you set to zero to disable so if you don't want this on so five stands for so every number in here one stands for one minute two stands for two minutes and so on and so forth i keep it on five and basically what this does dispatch will ask you what what's going on if, you, if you're okay and they'll just check your how basically check in with you and you just let them know you're you're 10 8 you're available blah 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 um and you also got use generic response the use generic response is basically anytime I tell dispatch something, whether I tell them I'm eating a donut or I'm fishing at the time or my grandma's lost or something, it doesn't really matter. They will give you a generic response no matter what. It's instead instead of them not understanding you, and we'll go ahead and show you guys this right now. Let me go ahead and click no. Dispatch, my grandma is running away. See, and you see over here to the left-hand side, it says dispatch says say again. I don't like stuff popping up on my screen and I like actually saying stuff, saying stuff that's realistic. So I'm gonna turn it on yes and I'm gonna say the same thing. Dispatch, my grandma is running away. 10-4. And they 10 4 it. Okay, I don't know why I said my grandma's running away, but hell, it, it's, it's just something that I wanted to say so you guys can understand. You could need to turn this on yes so it doesn't ask you, it doesn't say say again. So it basically, no matter what you say, dispatch will understand you and use a generic response as if they did understand you. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and back out of this one. We're going to go to backup settings. So backup settings, you guys can go through here. You got air support, you got investigating, you got on scene, you got taser, suspect in custody. In custody. So basically, if you're um, going to investigate a site or you're investigating, dispatch will ask you if you need backup. Uh, if you're on scene, so say I'm just coming on scene of a call. Dispatch will ask me if I need backup. If I taser someone, dispatch will ask me if I need backup. If I have a suspect in custody, dispatch will ask me if I need transport for the suspect in custody. Okay, so I keep these on yes right here. Um, actually, the suspect in custody, I'm going to keep on no due to the fact that I like searching my suspect, searching the vehicle, doing narcotics field tests, and then I'll call for transport. But taser, I keep on yes. And the reason why I keep taser on yes is because if I'm taser someone, then obviously I'm dealing with someone that's not complying with my orders and they're either fighting me or fleeing from me. So yes, I keep taser on. So if I let dispatch know, I tell you someone, they'll ask me if I need backup and I'll let them know if I do need a backup. Okay, so I do keep that on. It is all up to you guys what you guys want. You don't have to follow what I do, but this is just what I do just to keep it realistic. Okay, so you got use natives right here. You got the code 3 use native function for code 3 backup, um, code 2 backup. So basically if I um, say to dispatch request a code 3 backup, they'll send me code 3 backup if I say code 2. Also if I say air, um, you got EMS, So and you got panic right there, ped check. You got plate check, so anytime that I ask dispatch, I say dispatch request and plate check. Um, it will give me the generic response and everything, and um, it will be the native function for Grammar Police. So it's awesome. Uh, so I keep that on yes. And um, once you guys find out what you guys want, you guys can go ahead and save it right there by hitting save configuration. Go ahead and save that. And what we're going to do is hop in the cruiser and we're going to show you guys some stuff that goes with the radio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. And I am going to go ahead. Why is there? 
There's a dude running over here, and there's a lady down on the ground. So I'm going to go over here, and what we're going to do is request EMS. So what I'm going to do is say, dispatch request an EMS. Just like that, by hitting right all on my keyboard, okay? And dispatch is going to send a response to me, okay? So just like that. Dispatch request an EMS. And remember, you guys... Attention all units. Assistance required near Palato Bay. And I turn my notifications off so it doesn't show that it's sending me stuff. So it's pretty cool. I love that. All right. So dispatch is sending me EMS. Sometimes they don't copy you right away, so you have to say it twice. And you see they're going to send me EMS just like that. The male ran away from me. I don't know where the hell he went. But EMS is coming in right here. See what they can do for this lady. So if you taser someone, like I said, if you taser someone, so let's go ahead and tell dispatch this, okay? So remember how I said, if I hit control F2, if you guys go up here to PTT settings and I said hold to talk, you guys need to make sure that you hold that button down until you are done saying what you're saying and then release it, okay? If not, then dispatch won't understand you if you just click it real fast. All right, let's see what EMS could do for them. I'm going to go ahead and tase this dude just to give you guys, uh, show you guys what's going on. I hate when this happens. Dispatch, taser report. Taser deployed. 10 is backup required. Affirmative. Attention, all units. Officer requesting backup near um, Palato Bay. Respond code 3. Okay, so you guys see right there, I just asked for, I just told him that taser was deployed. They asked me if backup was required, and I said affirmative. And they uh, sent me backup, so I got backup right here. Just like that. And again, like I said, right alt will be your button. You guys, if you do do hold the talk, make sure you guys hold it down. Say everything that you want to say, and then let go of it. And dispatch will understand what you were saying. Okay, so what we're going to do is, so you see down at the bottom, it says status out of service. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself available. Dispatch, show me available for calls. Acknowledged. Three, six, proceed with patrol. And you guys will see right there, it says status available. Okay, just like that. You can also say dispatch, show me 10 to 8. And they will be able to read you from that. They use the uh, California 10 codes. So if you guys want to learn them. So you guys can get the California 10 codes. So we are going to go ahead and you can request corners too. So let's go ahead and go over here. And we're going to say dispatch request in corner. Assistance required in Palato Bay. And now we have the corner coming in just like that. And they're going to go ahead and show up on scene. And take care of these. Uh, I can't believe I tased that dude and he was done for. <laughs> Look at him. He's <laughs> he's done for. That's crazy. Um, but there you guys go. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to put it in the chat. I believe I went over everything about um, Grammar Police just to make your game that much better. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy this. I will be doing a stream here soon. I just did another tutorial that I just released to show you how to put vehicle textures on police vehicles. Grand Theft Auto in progress. In Bay. So I just did a tutorial to show you guys how to put police uh, vehicle textures on police cars. So you guys could check that out. We have tons of tutorials on this channel. Um, another thing that I want to go through with you guys is if you hit the letter M and you go down to police radio, you guys can change your action. So if you don't want it on shoulder, you want it on chest, you could do that. If you want it on earpiece, you could do that. You could do handheld too. So when I go to talk to uh, dispatch where I, I am standing here, watch this. I pull out the radio just like that. Or I can press M and I can do shoulder. So watch this. And there I go. I use the shoulder and you can see my radio is on my shoulder. So it makes it look really, really good. And there you guys go. You guys are good to go. Thank you all for coming by and watching. Please smash that like button if this helped you out. And we'll see you all on the next one. You guys have blessed. Stay safe out there. And we'll see you guys soon. Peace.